Hello cheese lovers, I'm Sarah Penrod and today we're going to be tackling the Torchies queso recipe. Now Torchies is a taco shop in the southwest and they're known for these crazy taco creations but the dish that they're the most famous for is this loaded green chili queso. So grab your tortilla chips guys because today we're making queso. So I went by Torchies this morning and I got some of the queso and I had them make it in all of its separate components so that we would have something kind of to refer back to. Now for the green chili queso, I've chosen these Anaheim peppers or New Mexico chilies is what they're also called. And we're gonna start off by roasting them. This is something that they do in uh, the Mexican culture all the time when they make salsas and sauces. And it's really, a really flavorful way to add the vegetables to your queso instead of using something like Rotel, which is a canned tomato and chili product that we have in the Southwest. So we're just gonna throw some garlic on here. Okay, now you can put this in your oven under the broiler or in a really, really hot oven. Probably the broiler is your best bet. You don't need to oil it or anything. We'll just put it directly in there. And then you'll see that these are gonna start to blacken and blister. Okay, so all we're gonna do now is flip these guys over. You can also flip the tomatoes. They're gonna be really soft, but that's okay. That's how we want them. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the garlic out completely because it's pretty much already roasted. Now we'll just put it back in for, you know, another five minutes or so, so this side can roast. Okay, so this is what they look like when they come out. Um, you'll see that they're blackened, but the skin is starting to puff up, and that's what you want. We can leave, let these sit for, you know, just a couple minutes to let the skin sort of separate, and it's gonna be easier for us to clean them. But the idea is that we're gonna separate the skin off. So for the green chilies, we're just gonna pick them up and the skin just will pop off like this. If you have any trouble at all, you can put it under fresh running water and it'll just kind of make it easier. But honestly, if you just wait for the skin to steam off, it is no problem to just peel them. And I'll just show you how to do one. So the idea is we want the flesh, but not the seeds and not the stem. So we'll just open it up and this is when the faucet is really helpful. We'll just turn on some cold water. So we're gonna just do that with the rest of our chilies. Okay, so now what these have cooled down just a little bit, it's gonna be easier to chop them and we're just gonna, you know, remove the little Stem, if you don't like that, and just rough chop them because they're gonna really fall apart in the queso anyway. So for the green chilies, we're just gonna do the exact same thing, just one bite-sized pieces. Okay guys, so we're all ready for the queso. We're gonna start off with some butter. And now we're gonna add that roasted garlic. Now we're gonna add those fresh roasted tomatoes that we made. So now we're gonna add our green chilies in. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt because all the flavors need salt to really come out. Salt enhances other flavors. So the green chilies will taste even brighter, even bigger. And as soon as you know this cooks down, we're gonna start adding the chicken stock and the half and half. And I'm putting in the half and half now. This is gonna give a good creamy base because we're gonna put the cheese in next. Now we have our American cheese. You can cut this into blocks if it's just one big piece. Um, you can also get it in the slices like they already have. The only thing that you kind of want to stay away from is the packaged American cheese that's not made at the deli. I've never really used that. I'm not sure of what's in it, but I think that this is going to be a better quality for your queso. Okay, and I'm just going to melt all of this in slowly. And melt this in. And now 
we're just gonna let this sort of infuse on low for a while. I've made this before, it took me a while to actually be able to get to hack this recipe. And what I found was that the green chili flavor doesn't really come out until a couple of hours. So I want you to wait as long as possible before you serve it to make sure that the queso is infused with that chili flavor. Okay guys, the best part of this queso is that before they even put it in the bowl, they take a big scoop of this amazing guacamole. Like I said, I have some right here for us. I've already given it a taste and it's a really simple guacamole. So what we're gonna do is start off with some Haas avocados. These are different than those little teeny tiny avocados you get. They're actually a hybrid of two different types of avocados and it's kind of like the best of both worlds. So to get to your avocado, I just open it just like that and I'm gonna cut into it a little grid going one way and then the next. And then I'm just gonna use a fork or a spoon to scoop it out. Now we're gonna use a white onion. I'm just gonna small dice this and we wanna get it as small as possible because it's gonna be bite size in the guacamole. Okay, now we're just gonna just a healthy dose of the lemon. We don't want it to taste like lemon. It's just gonna bring together all these flavors. So we're just gonna put a little bit of cilantro in, not a lot. For you cilantro haters, you can leave it out, but it is in the original recipe. Okay, now we're just gonna mash it. And I find the easiest way is with a fork and on a flat surface. I hate making guacamole in a bowl. It's so much easier to make it on a plate or in a pie plate. That's what I really like to do. Hmm, that is such a good guacamole. That's very good. I can add a little bit more garlic powder. Doesn't really taste like garlic, it just sort of builds the flavor. And I'll just add a little bit more salt. But that not, might not be what your guacamole needs. You kind of have to participate with the guacamole. It's like a dance. Okay guys, so we got it all done. I'm gonna show you how to put it together now. They always take a bowl and they're gonna put a scoop of that guacamole down on top. Here's my little baby ice cream scoop, meatball scoop. There we go, it looks just like this. Okay, we got the guacamole down. I'm gonna take a little scoop of the queso. See if I can get it in there. And don't be afraid to thin it with water, you guys, if you think it's getting a little bit thick. The Georgie's queso is really, really thin and you know it's not gonna really change the flavor at all. Okay, there we go. So just like with the Diablo sauce, we're gonna put a little bit of that Valentina on top. Just like this is fine. Now we're just gonna add a little bit of the cheese and that freshly chopped cilantro. All right guys, it's the moment of truth. Torchy's queso, it looks just like it, but does it taste just like it? Let's find out. You gotta get in there, you gotta get a little bit of the guacamole. Because it's, when it's all mixed up, that's when it's really awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the best freaking queso I've ever made. When you use the green chilies that you've roasted from scratch instead of use your can, it is so much better. Guys, this queso is gonna be the best queso that you've ever had. You can print the recipe on my blog. It's gonna be linked right below. You can follow along with us. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll be seeing you next time. Bye. Bone, bone broth queso. It's paleo bone broth queso. Oh crap. <laughs>